be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video is about Logic Pro 10.7's um, step sequencer, um, but we're going to actually be covering the inspector window in the step sequencer and showing you how you can make your own original melodies in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump in. But before we really dive deep, I want to let you know we do have a course sale at beatmakingbasics.com. Head over to the site. All of the courses are discounted heavily. You can grab them um, or you can bundle them together and get a site-wide discount on everything that's there. So that means you can get the courses and the kits for a super, super, super uh, low discount. All you gotta do is go to beatmakingbasis.com, click on one of the courses that you like, and then scroll down and you'll see the bundle deal, okay? It's super simple. Just scroll down and see, you'll see the bundle deal. You can add to cart every single course and kit, okay? Also, by the way, our kits are on sale as well. So head over to beatmakingbasis.com, let's go. Now, let's go ahead and jump into today's content. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and actually click on software instrument and under instrument, we're going to go to the alchemy sound bank. Okay. And I'm just going to push create. All right. Once you do that, the next thing you want to do is find a basic sound, something that's decent. I'm going to actually start with a bell. Um, I'm just going to randomly uh, pick something. So that's good enough, okay? I just didn't, I just didn't want a sound that like has too much going on, something simple. But once we have that, let's go ahead and open up the uh, step sequencer. So we'll click here, and then we'll cl click on step sequencer. All right. Now let's talk about uh, the inspector window, okay? Now as you can see here, you have it starts off with the key of C. All right, it has all the notes, you know, of the key of C here. And um, if you scroll, you do have to have Logic Pro 10.7, but if you scroll to the left, you're gonna see an eye. That's gonna be your inspector window. Let's open that up. Now, there's a lot of cool things you could do here. As you can see, it's kind of coordinating with what you see here, but it's right here. And I actually like that here better because you have everything like right there. It's not hard to find. You know it's right there in the inspector windows. Now, let's say if you wanna make a pattern, okay? Um, there's a couple different things you could do. You could change the amount of steps that you have, okay? And what that's going to do is make your pattern either more basic or more complex. So obviously, the less steps is going to be more basic and, or simple, and the more steps is going to be more complex. So let's just move it up to 32 steps, okay? Um, you have this playback mode here. I wouldn't recommend you know changing this up or anything. You can change the swing, which is pretty dope. And um, this is another dope option here is the pattern key. So right now, as you can see, we're in uh, C, the key is C, but what, what if we wanna go to C sharp? Now everything is based on that uh, key on the piano. All right, let's say, let's go to F sharp. Boom, everything's ready to go. Now um, you could also, come over here in these different modes okay so let me go to japanese and then that's going to give it a whole nother vibe so let's go ahead and plug in some notes and just see how this sounds okay we're in the key of f sharp and we have this mode here is this uh japanese mode or whatever All right, see what it sounds like. I'm going to put this uh right here. Let's check it out. And then the key thing is, you know, since you're in the specter window, you can change things up easily. Um, we could go over here and say, all right, I don't want F sharp. Let's do C sharp. The 
let's do D sharp. Let's uh, change this scale quantize. Let's go with Dorian. So basic tutorial here, I just wanted to show you um, just an introduction to the inspector window within uh, Logic Post 10's step sequencer and just show you a quick way you can make your own original patterns. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel, right? We're coming back to back with bangers and we literally have hundreds of videos, okay? So this is uh, YouTube is a free resource for you. You can gain some information and if you want something more exclusive, more in depth, you know, you can grab our courses at BeatMakingBasis.com. Again, these courses are full video courses. They have a whole curriculum that I created. Um, most of the courses are at least an hour long to five hours long. So you, you get that value there. And you don't need an internet connection after you download the courses. Sometimes, you know, with some people's courses, you have to like log into some type of account, remember a password, all that. You don't have to do that over here at Beat Making Basics. Once you get the course, it's downloaded and you can have it anywhere. You could be on a plane traveling across the world and then pull that course up with no internet connection because you have the videos. So you hear what I'm saying? So make sure you go to the site, bemakingbasics.com. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.